In the first part of the 21st century, humans began their slow, painful steps beyond the limits of their home world. Steps became strides, strides then became jumps, and then, almost at once, the flower of humanity bloomed across the vast empty void. Except, space isn't as empty as you might think. Opportunities abounded as our science grew. We found planets that we could live on. And then we found ways to make planets conform to our will and become habitable with a bit of good old elbow grease and a few fusion reactors. As humanity reached out towards a bigger horizon, it wasn't without cost. At every step of the way, the suits were there to take their part and more. Mega corporations like Weyland Yutani facilitated space exploration and then they monetized it. While rival governments squabble and fight in the foreground, the megacorps supply both sides from behind the scenes and silently advance their own private agendas. Caught in the middle of everything, as always, was the working class. Colonists signed up to leave the squalor and poverty of what they already knew and set forth in the dark. Sometimes they succeeded and were prosperous, paying off their wage debt to the megacorps and building a better life for their families. Other times, they choked out their last breaths on a world that could barely sustain their frail forms. Thus has always been the life of the pioneer. However, the further we reached out and filled the void of space, the more we learned that we were not the first to the party, but perhaps the last. Things waited for us. Things we had never dreamed of. Things that hungered. This is the world we live in now. The world of colonists, corporate agents, synthetic humans, and colonial marines. This is the world of Alien.